Hi, my name is Nardine Reynolds. It's, the, it's April the 11th, uh, 2024, and I'm an artist and teacher in Toowoomba, Queensland, Australia. My background is in education. I was a general primary teacher for 20 years, but I've taught art um, in all year levels now from prep to grade 12, which is four-year-olds to 18, 19-year-olds. Um, this does impact how I see the world and create art because I believe that everyone uh, begins life as an artist and that everyone, no matter what their age, has their own creative fingerprint to leave in the world. Well, I was born um, in Somerset in the UK. Um, from a very early childhood, I was both an artist and teacher. I always made marks and experimented with ways of making in all kinds of different ways. And then I'd like to teach other people how to do that. So I always had those, both those aspects of my personality, I guess. Thankfully, I have amazing parents who let me go and didn't try to change what I was doing, which I'm really grateful for that. Um, when I was nine, um, we emigrated from the UK to Australia and I'm exploring that experience at the moment um, through a body of work. Who are my biggest influences? Well, I've had an interest in art history from, from very early childhood. I used to go around um, recognising prints, constable prints, etc. in my aunt's house. Um, we studied Rubens, Vermeer and even Giotto when I was um, very young. Now I'm much more interested in contemporary female artists such as Irene Lees, Sophie Munns, Lee Schoenheimer, artists I have met and have had fascinating conversations with who are passionate about making their own little corner of the world a better place. So that's who I'm more interested in now. It's more about knowing about people's process than, than their techniques. Although I do love learning about different people's techniques. Um, I'm focusing right now, I'm working in silk and embroidering into these works. They're dynamic works, they move. My solo exhibition has just closed and I'm working now on a collaboration with children which will be an exhibition in November. Uh, the biggest challenge of being an artist, I find, is when artists are not allowed to be artists. I think once you've found out a way how you can make art and how to be an artist, it's not hard at all. I work full time and I'm still very productive in my own arts practice. There are a lot of hours in the day and being a teacher, I have holiday time, which is great. Um, my children are now grown, so I guess I'm spending all the time I used to spend um, being with them on my arts practice. But balancing family, a career and a separate art practice is very challenging. So I, I know that that is very challenging, especially when you're younger. What advice would I give my younger self? Uh, lean into your authentic self. Don't shy away from it. Consider your arts practice to be like a child. Be kind to it. Nurture it. But don't send it out to work for you while it's still developing. Have I ever tried any unconventional media or techniques? Yes, I really like trying new things. I like pushing the boundaries. Um, I say to my students all the time, there are no rules in art, only consequences. Um, and anyone saying anything different is probably trying to sell you something. So keep innovating, keep pushing the boundaries, keep trying new things. Uh, well, sometimes I have music, but if I'm working out something tricky, I have complete silence. And then while I'm in the flow, I'm often listening to podcasts, often uh, visual arts podcasts. I love to learn. I'm also not above chatting to a friend on the phone as I'm working. And then... When I'm doing the embroidery, it's usually in the evening. I'm usually watching TV with my family. And that's a lovely way to end the day. What's the best reaction someone has had to my artwork? It sounds funny, but recently a gentleman burst into tears uh, in front of a work I had made. Um, that's quite unusual. And I was... I was actually really pleased because I'd chosen a very non-commercial approach to the work and I had wondered whether I should be doing this and um, I was pleased I had trusted my gut because um, of that reaction. 
What do I hope people take away from my artwork? I hope people feel seen. My first solo, The Rocks in My Head, was about my experience with vertigo. And the gallery told me that people had shared their own experience with vertigo after seeing the works. I felt that was um, excellent. That made this exhibition really successful in my eyes. My recent um, solo affect effect was about the effect that we have on each other. But a whole series was about the importance of using indigenous place names. And I hope that resonates with the audience and gives people something to think about. Thank you very much for asking me about my arts practice.